All right, so this here would be number five. So number five, another organic chemistry question here. It says draw the major reaction or draw the major organic product for the below reaction here. So we have a benzene plus we have some sort of a, a cyclopentane with kind of a methyl group here. And then I'm going to react it with H2SO4 and then I'm going to get something here. So it says draw the major uh, product for this reaction. So this student here wrote um, something that's completely off. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight kind of carbons here when I have definitely more than eight carbons. I have six here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six plus six here, which is 12 carbons. So there's no way that this here is the correct answer. Again, I don't know why they have a CL here. There's no chlorine here. I don't know where they're pulling this from. So solution is definitely incorrect here. It's not an SO2 reaction here. So how will we solve for this question though? Um, I have an acid here and then I have a alkene here as well. So you can say that this guy here is, uh, is acid, right? So you can say it's also H+. Plus. Um, I have an alkene group here. And then finally, I have a, uh, I have a benzene group. So acid's not going to react, really react with the benzene group here. Uh, the benzene here is pretty stable by itself. But what we want to do is for this question is that I have um, the methyl group kind of gives uh, give this problem away in the sense that this acid here is going to depronate one of these uh, one of these hydrogens here. So that's the first step here. So if I have a um, or not sorry, sorry not depronate it's going to uh, pron pronate one of these guys one of these guys here. So this, uh, this hydrogen is going to be attracted to, um, to this, uh, to, to the, uh, to, it's going to basically, uh, uh, protonate one of these guys here to make, uh, to create a reaction here. So what I would do, um, let's think about this problem here because hydrogen isn't going to, um, protonate this, uh, immediately. So it's probably going to do something called a, we're going to have a, we're going to basically create a resonant structure here. So basically I'm going to protonate this guy first. So I don't really care about that, about the benzene here. I care about more. So the, uh, the cyclopentene group, I'm going to have, let's say that this is now protonated. So this is now a CH4 here. Uh, I still have my double bond. What it's going to do is going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to move this positive here. This is currently a, a primary carbocation. And what it's going to do is going to then shift. Uh, I'm going to bring this down um, to bring it down to uh, to get something like this here. I would get probably something like this. It's going to basically uh, uh, shift. In, uh, I basically do. Uh, I'm drawing a resonance structure to see that uh, this here will not create my double bond here. I'm moving my double bond up, and then my carbocation, my primary carbocation, is now in the secondary position, right? So this here is much more stable than this first one here. So you can say it, it could be belong to this carbon here or this carbon here, but this here is much more stable than the uh, primary carbocation that was made here. So if assuming that this is actually being pronated and I get something like this, then I can add it. I can add my benzene group now here. And a benzene here is going to obviously be attracted to this positive charge here. And I would get something like this. Um, So my benzene group would be basically right at attached to um, attached to this carbon here. So I would get something like uh, this here would get, uh, I would basically get a carbon-carbon bond. So this here would be like so. Yeah, this here would be our, our solution here. Um, and I don't think we can do anything else uh, to this problem here. But this here would be our major kind of product here because uh, we because we shifted our, uh, our carbocation to the secondary position rather than the primary. The, uh, the, uh, the, the minor product would have been uh, uh, if I were to react the benzene with uh, the primary carbocation here. So I believe this is the solution for this question. I, don't, I'm not like 100% confident in this answer just because um, 
acid here doesn't usually pronate something as well. It might pronate this um, the allylic group here, but I don't because um, normally benzene is pretty unreactive here, unless I'm missing something. Um, I don't think it's a Friedel's cross acylation. It doesn't have a Cl here, nor I don't think it's a Diels Alder as well because I would need heat here as well to get um, uh, to get some some kind of uh, some kind of reaction here. So I'm thinking it's a it's a pronation reaction and then uh, creating re uh, creating resonance structure to provide this uh, state most stable carbocation and simply just a uh, 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 a, um, a substitution here. So I'm pretty sure that this here is correct answer. This definitely is not the correct answer. So I'm going to say solution here is incorrect. Incorrect. I'm thinking that this is a um, pronation protonation of methyl group, um, and then uh, drawing resonance structure to create a more stabilized carbocation and then a substitution reaction to link the benzene with the cyclopentane group. The solution here is incorrect.